questions. So if you have any questions, but you will be able to ask them. There will be time. Remind me of the name again? Glenn. Glenn. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So um, you, you're new to that I'm brand new world. She's new to me. What's your name? My name is Kirsten. Kirsten? Kirsten. Hi. So we are here today. We have some new idols. Say hi. I said hi to you guys over there. Dan, Jack, Lennon, and Jim. And we're going to throw up some purple and comfort. And we're still waiting for joy. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, maybe around the holidays.
this play yeah. and I've been doing a good job actually I have like 45 out of 60 pages I think so it's been a lot of progress um, yeah um, so I'm excited about that right now I'm dealing with sort of like act two trouble I guess and uh, that oh uh, do I, what do I need to elaborate on um, oh, no. oh okay cool Let's see how you go. Um, so I have three characters who are in different, each of them are in different worlds, and I'm going to overlap them later, but right now I'm sort of trying to find out what their journey is through that, and I'm writing scenes, I guess, as I go for each character, and I found that I'm overwriting one character, and I'm not sure what scenes to show and what scenes to... Well, yeah, I don't know what, what needs to be on stage, what action needs to be on stage, I guess. And I, I keep on concerning myself because I'll write tons of scenes that I like, but that just stretch on. The, it makes the whole stretch on too long. So, like, do you have any? Do you have any ways that you use to keep on track of like what's the story I'm telling? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, what's great is that so you figure it's going to be about sixty pages long. Yeah. Okay. And you're on around page forty-five. Right. Right. So I would suggest, uh, I mean, it's, I, I love the, 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 you know, I got this problem, and it's, you know, this character. I mean, it's, it's great, it's great. But basically, it's, it's just right to page 60 and right the end. Yeah. And then see. You know what I mean? All those problems, because, because your problem could be saying this, oh, man, you know, your mother is going to hate you if you write this play. Oh man, you know your uncle, this is totally gonna expose him as being like a do-gooder or a salvation army. He can't have that because he's oh man, my friends are gonna hate me. Oh man, I I, I don't like the uh -huh. the setting. I said it in Texas and I should have said it in California. Hate it. Oh man, my lead character's name is Rosette. I should have called her, you know, Jane. Uh, it's all the same. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's the beauty. Have you ever seen, um, you know, an Indian, uh, a sculpture of an Indian god? Many faces? Uh -huh. Or that, um, what's it, Axis Gold as well? Jimmy Hendrix cover? I think that's what it is. You know, the uh, many faces? So, anyway, anyways, yeah. Like, many faces of God. Okay. The many faces of our anxiety. Right. The way through it is just go on through, uh -huh. right to the end, then look back, and you'll be able to see it more clearly. Right. I guess the difficulty is that I have like half, I know how to write the first half of the third act, but I don't know how to write the second half, and I won't know until I get through the second act, and I'm trying to be time efficient, but I keep on writing more than I need to in the second act, and it's not getting to the heart of what I'm addressing. What, well, you know in the heart of what your best is? Yeah. Then get to it. <laughs> Well, like, when you're writing, you know, you're writing scenes, and you're writing, I don't know, like, I don't, I'm not as good at keeping on track with, like, the... Okay, so if there were a sidewalk, and you're walking down, you know, I said, Dan, walk down the sidewalk, and you're like, oh, I think I'm going to walk in the street. I'm like, Dan, walk in the sidewalk. I don't know. Dan, do you know where the sidewalk is? Yeah, it's right there. Okay, then Dan, walk in the sidewalk. Just walk in the sidewalk. I guess, I just don't know what the sidewalk is. But you know what the heart <laughs> of the matter is that you're trying to... Yeah, but I don't know which scene is gonna crack the code. Crack the code? I love these terms for me. <laughs> In the olden days, uh, long even before I was a writer, long time ago, people used to say, break the back. I'm trying to break the back of my heart. And I'm like, oh God, how do you do it? Crack the code, we're gonna crack it, we're gonna break it, we're gonna manage it, we're gonna insert it, we're gonna make it do our will. Yeah. If you know what the heart of the play is, or the matter is, uh -huh. just, Make up an index card. Put it on your, you know, desk. And just write, you know, if you know where the target is, just 
aim for it. Stop shooting over here. Don't do that. Right. Shoot this way. Okay. You know, get your bow and arrow out. Okay. So that way. You'll have a better chance of hitting your target than if you're pointing in this direction. Right, right. Because you know your target. You yeah. I should. I guess there's just a lot of obstacles between me and my target, and I'm trying to find out how just to Just realize keep it's skipping. just the face of your brain. It is absolutely nothing other than your anxious. It's nerve fucking racking. And it just ain't for the target. Okay. Just keep going toward that goal. Let's do it. You're listening to those voices saying, wait a minute, you don't know. That I'm more chunky than regular. I'll do like three or four hours and then like I'll go a day without and then I need to get more regular but my schedule is kind of so nice right now. Try to, try to put it in some regular time. Okay. Because also that, you know, when you put it in your irregular, it, it just gives more time for those voices of caution or negativity to, you know, right. come up and start taking over. Right. Okay. Well, I like this regular time. Thank you. 
really hard to give notes. It's really, giving notes is an art form, is an art form. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, really hard to give notes to someone about their work. It is an art form. And there are a lot of people who are great at it, and those who are great at it, I know some of the ones who are great at it, and I still don't give my work until it's done. Okay, it's like, it's like I use the metaphor of like, you know, you have, you know, Ha, ha, ha. 
channeling your good energy. Oh. You're very good about getting good grants. Oh. Um, it's um, about the rise of the ass in pop culture. It's oh. a nod to the Hartley Bartman, the hot and hot Venus. Oh, A-S-S. A-S-S. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a nod to the hot and hot Venus. Oh, cool. And um, grant writing is particularly tricky for me because where I'm very clear about the story I want to tell, right. how to tell the story in a way that engages people with money, uh -huh. it's a little trickier. Mm -hmm. Um, I know why this, I don't know, it's been tricky for me because I'm, I come from like TV land, so I'm used to executing when right. someone has a budget, not right. writing a letter to get a budget, right. so it's right. a different process. Yeah, but how, but how do you know that the way you want to tell it is basically so different the way you get money from um, I think that the way that I've mapped it out to explain it to like my team in terms of how we're executing, um, doesn't maybe address some of the questions that I'm being asked in grant. So it's a bit of a tricky process, uh -huh. um, and I'm just going through the work of actually just writing everything I can and changing it and having people look at it, which is sometimes a tricky process. Um, but for me, I feel it's weird because I wasn't as open with the creative writing process of how I saw making it, but now I'm totally open. Like, how do I sell it? How do I get the money? Like, I'm totally open to suggestions, and it's actually even in some ways shaped pushing the story, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, my question is, in writing grants, did you, did you take on your own grant work? And in terms of translating your story into something that made sense to money, what was it, I guess, maybe in particular about Sarji Bartman that you found resonated with right, 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 grants? Right, right, right. Because did my... You, yeah, I mean, I, just so you know, I, I, mean, I wrote Venus, that play, in 1996. Right. So, uh, my recollection of, like, how I, whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it, how I got the money and the interest. It was just this year, in March, it was this year. But um, just, just, just foundational. Um, I have so far, always, including my just trip that I just came back home from a couple hours ago in LA, always just tell the story as I think it should be told. I don't really try to second guess what the money people are going to say. Have done it yet. Okay. I just tell it like I think it should be told. And if they want to buy it, pay for it, whatever, 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 they do, they will, great. And if they don't, then okay, I'll just do something else. But not so I would suggest you tell the story, present the material as you think it should be presented passionately from your heart, from your guts, from your balls. So it go. You know? And the money people are gonna fall in line. The money people are there are millions of money people, they all have different tastes. And some people might go, mm, not for us, we want it to be more intellectual. Some people might go, oh, that's our prop, that's our kind of thing. You don't want to be second guess with money. So it's like there, there are lots and lots of studios, right? So project might not land here, but it might land over there. You've heard millions of stories about a script or an actor who's trying to get it somewhere, and they, you know, they found their hand and they did it. The script found its own. So I would just say write what you really feel it needs to be. And the money will come as it should come. And it'll find you. That's my suggestion. Or you can second guess what you want to do that. Two minutes? Or are you saying peace? Maybe it says two minutes. Two minutes. Yes? Do you have a question? My question is I don't know how to outline. I don't know how to outline? I just start writing whatever comes out. Okay. And then I look at it and see what it is. How do 
are you at, Lauren? Do you, do, so do you, do you enjoy that method? It sounds like you want another method. Or a, a, a way to, an alternate way. For your method sound that you, you write, see what comes out, and then work on it. Which is a cool method, right? Nothing wrong with that. If you want to try the outlining quote unquote method, yeah, right? It seems like most people do it that way. Think of, yeah, so don't think of Roman numerals. Think of bullet points or index cards. First thing I see is this happening. Then the next thing I see is this happening. Then the next thing I see is this happening. Then this person talks about this. Then this happens. You're seeing blocks of action. Okay? Not dialogue. Not elaborate. This is what the set's going to look like. These are the characters. She's wearing green shoes. You know, that go. Big blocks of action. That's an outline. Oh, that's a way to outline. Okay? So you don't dress it or fill it with dialogue. An outline is just boom, boom, boom. I mean, maybe there's a, a piece of dialogue that you just want to capture, it, you know? Right. Which use index cards, three by five, yes. I've done that after I've written something, then I put index Okay, start. that's cool. So try it before. Before. Because you can write a draft, you can write several drafts of a script without ever writing a line of dialogue. You just write it, you're sketching it like Van Gogh. He sketched a lot before he put, you know, took out the paint because probably because he was poor and had to save money. But you know, it, it's really affected lots of painters, lots of visual artists. Thank you for the question.